Welcome back to the Thursday evening cowboy fashion report. This evening I've got on another enthusiastically intrepid pearl snap shirt. No pearl snaps. This shade of white is called Flaccid Ivory. It's a very soft shade of white. Today I thought we would discuss a word straight out of the cowboy vocabulary. Dude. Now I'm not talking about the word dude like you'd hear it in everyday conversation in most circles. You know, like, hey dude, how you doing? Or... I've even heard entire conversations made up almost solely of the word dude. Like, uh, did you get the beer, dude? Dude? Beer, dude? Oh, dude. Dude! Dude. Dude? Dude. Dude. No, I'm not talking about that dude. I'm talking about the cowboy definition of dude, which is... Someone that doesn't have much knowledge of livestock or maybe is completely void of livestock knowledge. And when I was up at the uh, north rim of the Grand Canyon there in late summer of 92, I got to be around some of these people. Now, don't get me wrong, most of them are really good folks. They just never been around livestock. And when you put people like that around livestock, things can happen sometimes. And I could write a book, and I was only there two months. And I worked for Pete and Ton Mangum, good, good folks. They could write a whole volume, I'm sure they own that deal. Anyway, I mean, for instance, I've put grown men on these mules up there in the pens and have them freeze up before we ever left the pen, have to get off. Couldn't do it. This is before we get to the death-defying sheer cliffs. And uh, there was a 200-pound weight limit, and believe it or not, at that time, in my boot spurs, blue denim wranglers, pearl snap shirt, and black felt hat, I weighed 190 pounds. I know it's hard to believe. But I don't know if they weighed some of these little gals. And what are you going to do? Anyway, you had to get a hold of them to help them somehow. And sometimes there wasn't much to get a hold of but their ass to put them up on the ass. And sometimes when they had cock that old leg, go across the cantle of them saddles, they would rip up a big one sometimes. And the cameras, good Lord, the cameras. I've never seen cameras so big. Big as bowling balls of watermelons hanging off these people's necks. It beats you about the head and ears. Well, one day... I was riding old Junior, and Junior was in the wrangle string, and out there they'd get these mules in from Kentucky, and they'd put them in the wrangle string for the first year or two, make sure they was gentle, make sure they wasn't going to jump off the side of the cliff and kill somebody. Basically, we was guinea pigs. Well, old Junior, that was his first year there, and uh, matter of fact, Junior bucked me off on the trail one day. That's another story, funny as hell. But I was riding old Junior, and we was coming out of the bottom there at Rowan Springs, and we'd come up a couple hundred yards up the trail there, and and there's places on that trail, on the Grand Canyon Trail, there's places that it's plenty wide to turn a mule around, back around, turn him around a few times. No trouble. This was not one of those places where we were right then. We was coming around a point, and that trail was, to me, just barely big enough for all four feet to be on the ground at the same time. And we came around this tight point, and the first two or three mules behind me came around just enough to see this too. And now, there was a gal coming down, down the trail had an umbrella opened up and it got hot and I, I she had it open just for the shade well no junior he's probably seven eight years old from kentucky he probably been to a couple of county fairs maybe a tractor pull he ain't never seen nothing like this he puts on the brakes cocks that old head over bows that neck and him my eyes are bugged out and he's got rollers going and my ears working he's just shaking in his shoes i feel like i'm on a plane going down nowhere to go I can't get off, there ain't room. Well, this old gal, she's coming on. I raised my hand up real slow. No one's scaring no worse and kind of try to get her attention like that. And finally, she sees me and she stops and goes, just waves. Here she comes. Well, before I could say anything to her, Junior can't take it no more. Before I can blink, spit, or say, gosh darn, he's looking the other way. And the first three mules behind me are also looking the other way. And these little gals are screaming bloody murder. I think they could hear them up at the top of the rim. I mean, scared, crying, screaming. It was a scary deal. Well, that shuts the old gal down. And I explained to her, she's going to have to shut that umbrella before we all die. And she does this and gets right up the side of the cliff there. And I talk these gals down and we all get enough courage. And finally, we tiptoe these mules around and they're looking the right way. And we made it back to the top. So... I could keep snapping. See y'all next week.